Hi YouTube, it is Dion. Today is April 23rd. This is my first polyamory video. I am what is known as a polyamorist, which is a person who is polyamorous. Um, oh, that looked weird. <laughs> I'll try not to do that again. <laughs> um, polyamory, someone asked me, when did I know that I was polyamorous? And when I thought about it, I always was. I just didn't know that there was a word for it. And I will explain. As a teenager, uh, we'll call him John. <laughs> As a teenager, my first love was John. And we were off again, on again for years and years and years. I met him back in 1984. And we're actually still friends to this day. So it's... I'm not even going to do the math, but it was a very long time. You know, and I will do the math. I was 14 when I met him. I'm 49 now. So that's, what, like 35 years that I've known John? Um, I had a very tumultuous um, time as a teenager. And he was in the streets and on drugs, off drugs, on drugs, off drugs. And so there was a lot of physical disconnection not between how we felt about each other but just between if I was couch surfing or if he was you know out doing whatever he was doing and we would lose touch with each other um but when I was with John I was with only John and when we would fall out of touch because I would move or he would move this was way before cell phones <laughs> Or if one of us or neither one of us had a phone and we would just lose touch, I always had two boyfriends or I was just single. And this went on until, oh gosh, until after I graduated um, with my bachelor's degree. Um, I have my partner's dog over here, so I was looking to see what she was doing, which is just laying on the floor. And so my current partner, we've been together a little over a year. I did tell him the story. And I would have two boyfriends. And when I would run into John somewhere, like at a bus stop or in a store or just run into like how you run into people just randomly. And we would just, you know, get together that night and we were together for however long it lasted until we lost touch. And so the next day after seeing John, I would call, let's, you know, make up a name here pinky and blue <laughs> I would call blue and be like don't call me no more it's over he'd be like what do you mean what happened I'm like it's over we're not dating no more I'm not your girlfriend anymore it's over and then I would just hang up and he would call back what happened I'm like I told you don't call me no more then I would call the other dude blue don't call me anymore it's over I'm done with you blah 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 I was really cold hearted like that and they would always be like what happened what's wrong and I'm like nothing just don't call me no more it's over and I would just be with John and you know Months would go by, and then John would go off and do drugs, and I'd be like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going through this again. Or I would end up moving, and John and I would lose touch, and then I would get two more boyfriends <laughs> or just stay single. And I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm just laughing at the memory of how different I was back then, where it was all about me. And I, it was really cold-hearted. It, it, I was rotten. I was rotten, and people loved me. Guys loved me, and I'm just like, I'm done. Um... And so I will call that unethical non-monogamy because they did not know that they were not my only boyfriend. And that brings me to a couple points. And so I call it consensual non-monogamy, which is what I do now is where my partner knows. And he's polyamorous as well. So we knew going into our relationship that one or both of us may have another partner. And we talked about what that may look like. We talked about what our boundaries were, like what we would want to know up front, what we don't want to know up front. Do we want to know anything up front? We want to know if we just like someone and if we're considering sex or if we're not. So we had a really long talk about our relationship and our potential additional relationships. Um, and if you guys want details on what our boundaries are, and I'm saying our boundaries, even though the boundaries we have are boundaries I have for myself, which just happen to be the same boundaries he has for himself. And so some things for me are non-negotiable, you know, such as open and honest communication. Let me know up front 
even if you have an interest in someone, just so I'm not blindsided because I don't deal with, oh, wow, you know, me and Sally are going out and we might have sex tonight. Well, who's Sally? I never heard of Sally. Oh, you've been dating her for three months? Like, I didn't know that. Like, I don't want, <laughs> I wouldn't want that for myself and therefore I wouldn't do that to another person. And so that's one of the boundaries for me is to be upfront so that no one is blindsided. Uh, what else did I want to say? So I, I can't call it consensual non-monogamy. There is a term um, that I've read in an article from a website called poly.land. Poly, period, land. If you guys would like to read her articles, she writes some really nice stuff. And one of the terms she used was ambiamorous. And I'm like, what is that? And she does explain it in the article. Ambiamorous is when you're content either in an exclusive relationship or you can also be content with multiple partners. And so I kind of feel like I'm that way where I'm in a relationship, I'm polyamorous, but I'm not actively looking for another relationship. It's just, you know, if I happen to meet someone and there's a mutual interest, okay, we're free to pursue to see where that goes. Um, and not needing permission from my current partner, but just talking to him saying, this is where I am, this is what I'm feeling, I wanted you to know, and just having like adult conversations about things that adults do or may do. One thing, another thing I want to say is that monogamy is, I'll say communication in monogamy is underrated. And I say that because people assume if we're dating, you're not dating anyone else. If we're in a relationship, you're not in a relationship with anyone else. If things go well for six months to a year, we're going to move in together. We're going to buy a house. If we both do want children, we're going to get married and have kids if we want to get married. And there's a lot of assumptions in monogamy that just flies in the face of polyamory. And I like polyamory because it encourages open communication. You know where you stand. The other person knows where you stand and vice versa. There are no assumptions. There are no, oh, this is my one and only forever. And people say, well, how can you date multiple people? And it's the same as if I didn't grow up with both my parents. But if you did, you love both of your parents, maybe not equally, but you do. But the concept in poly is that you do care about each person for who they are. There is no comparison. It isn't like, oh, well, he does this better or, you know, he likes to go roller skating and you don't, so I'm going to hang with him tonight. It's, it's not a comparison. It's not a competition. But just, you know, if you have brothers and sisters, you love your brothers and sisters, you love your aunts and uncles, you love your grandparents, you have friends in college, you have more than one friend in college, and being friends with Blue doesn't mean you can't be friends with Pinky. So it's the same concept with the added, I don't want to call it a benefit, but with the added um, understanding that romance may occur. And I say it that way because sometimes people build emotional connections and sex is not even included. And for me, polyamory is not about having a bunch of sex partners because I'm very... <laughs> even though I always had two boyfriends back in the day <laughs> or was single or it just had John, it's not about having multiple sex partners it's just a, it's about not passing by opportunities to build a mature hopefully lasting intimate relationship um, I know people who are polyamorous and they have like four partners and they're not sexual with any of them so it's not always about sex and some people think it is Oh, if you're poly, that means you sleep around. No, it doesn't. And that's that's the thing that I'm that I want to get at, get at is talk to people and ask them. Okay, what does poly mean to you, or what does whatever mean to you? And even within the poly amorous community, there's an umbrella. There's a lot of different types of poly relationships. Um, there's swinging, which some people say is poly and some say is not. There's open relationships. There's closed relationships, there's polycules, there's triads, there's poly families, there's solo poly, there's anarchist poly. There are so many types of poly. So if someone just says that, you know, don't be shy enough to not encourage them to explain what poly means to them. And I hope that sentence makes sense. As I said it, it did not seem to make sense. Be courageous enough to say, what does that mean? Like you said you're poly, like explain to me what that means. And that's what I was trying to say. So 
that's where I am. Um, I was married twice, and I was monogamous in both of my marriages because society, religion, family, they all say you get married, that's it. And so it never dawned on me that, wait a minute, why did we not talk about <laughs> what it was that we wanted for our marriage? And, and both of them ended up cheating. And so I'm like, hmm. And my second husband, people say, well, why didn't you guys just open up the relationship? I said, well, he kept lying about cheating. And so you can't, <laughs> you can't build an honest foundation on lies. And so it was really just strange because why not just admit it? I mean, would I have stayed? I, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of what ifs that could be floating in my head, but I have other things I need to store in here besides something that once was. So I'm just saying there's that assumption that you date and that's it. You're going to be exclusive. You're going to live together. You're going to get married and that's it. And every time I see an article or hear on the news or see a video about, oh, so-and-so's husband cheated, so-and-so's wife cheated, because there's an assumption. They don't talk about when they get together, are we going to be exclusive? Well, I don't know if they do, but my feeling is that they don't have that discussion, whereas in polyamory, you do have those types of discussions. Um, so I'm just like, you know, if, you're, if you know you're going to want something different every now and then, or if you know you're your heart and your mind is capable of caring about and even loving more than one person without love for one taking away from love or care for the other. If you know you're able to do that, let the other person know. That way they can make as informed a decision as possible if they want to pursue you or date you or be in your life. Because some people can handle poly and some people can't. And some people will say, oh, well, I'll try. And I'm like, this isn't something you try. And when I meet people... I tell them our first meeting, I'm polyamorous, I'm involved in the King community too, there's other stuff that I'm into that, that you may or may not be comfortable with because I don't want to be on a third or fourth date and they're really excited and then I'm like, oh yeah, I have a partner and they're like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> I wouldn't want that done to me and I think it's horrible when I meet people who say, oh, well, if I was dating someone new, I wouldn't tell them until like the fourth date that I was married. I'm like, why would you not tell them that? If you're a poly... The thing is just be open and be honest with people so that they can decide for themselves, is, is this someone I can handle being with knowing that they're with other people? And I, I just think it's horrible. And I know I probably said that like four times. And people are heartbroken because people aren't open and they're not honest with their lifestyle. And I've had guys tell me at our first meeting, I don't even call it a date, I just call them meetings. <laughs> um... He was like, well, I'll try, Polly. And I said, you don't have to try anything. Like, I'm not, just because I'm Polly doesn't mean you have to be. You just have to be able to handle that I am. And I will give you as much information from my end as I can without telling the other person's business. Because what myself and my partner do is our business. But I will let you know if I'm going to be there or if he's going to be here or if I'm going away or something like that. So you will know... Just like if I'm going to go see my mother or grandmother, you'll know where I am. I will tell you where I am. I won't tell you everything we do. Um, but you'll know where I am and hmm, round about what I'm doing. Like if I'm going to a festival, yeah, we went to a festival today or something like that. Just, just be open and honest with people. If you guys have any questions, I will be doing more of these videos. Um, and also I'm going to start doing um, product review videos as well. Any questions, let me know if you have an experience with Polly or you know someone who is or if what I'm saying is just like, girl, you are ridiculous, you're a hoe, whatever you, <laughs> which I'm really not, <laughs> which I'm not. Um, <laughs> but some people automatically think that, oh, well, she just wants to screw around. Uh, and there are some people who say that they're Polly because they just want to sleep around. That's why I said earlier, ask people, what does that mean to you in particular? Ask five people, you might get five different answers. Ask ten, you might get eight different answers. So that's it for this video. I apologize it was long. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, when I hit 50 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. It will most likely be makeup related. Or smell goods, which is what I call lotions and shower gels from Bath & Body Works. So yeah, subscribe, let people know about the channel. If there's anything in particular you would like my opinion on, let me know about that too. Oh, and I'm also going to do kink 
related videos too and let you guys know what I'm into with that which is very interesting so I'll see you guys soon